the, the thing that holds like, so many people back, um, particularly in career change, is and whether they're aware of it or not, whether they're willing to admit it or not, is fear. So yeah. they, it's like a confidence, it's low self-esteem, or it's just the, the fear of doing something and clocking up and falling flat on your face. So you go out on stage all the time and risk that. How do you do it? I mean, you, are you a completely fearless person? So fear is just not a, you know, no. you had that part of your brain removed in a costly operation. I think lack of fear will be a dangerous thing. Right. So the fear is focused. Mm. So, for example, here on a Sunday night and a Wednesday night, we have to get here 35 minutes before curtain up. Mm. So there's a concentration. Yeah, yeah. The fear is made into something positive, which is yeah. I'm thinking hard. I'm, mm. I'm, maybe I'm not talking. Yeah. Some people may like to talk. I'm getting my adrenaline to work on my behalf. Uh, I'm making sure I'm in a good state. So the fear becomes not debilitating, but becomes something which helps you to focus. Uh, the fact that we've done it for a long time helps. Yes, it's true. So getting up on stage with no script mm. will be scary, but you're with people you know, you're in the environment you know. We occasionally do corporate gigs, and that's more scary because you're outside those mm. parameters. Yes. But again, you say, well, I've done it before, we should be good, and it makes you work all the harder. So someone's doing something new because you've made so many big changes, you know, you've gone into theatre, you've gone into being in, you're in Austin Powers film amongst other things, and um, you you keep changing and finding all sorts of different things. And every time you change, you know, for a lot of people that's a very fearful moment. Mm -hmm. And you may not have tried that before. How, what do you do at that moment to, to with, with any fear you might have? I don't know, um, I would characterise what I've done, mm. not as changes, but as developments. Right, okay. So everything I've done is developing yeah. some enjoyment, some skill, some yeah. experience I've had. So what would be your advice to somebody who is, who is going to make a change that was quite dramatic? They, they thought about it and it made sense, but at that yeah. point they've got to quit their job and really invest in, you know, start their own business or whatever it might yeah. be. Well, I wouldn't think of it as a change. I'd think of it as an evolution, uh, uh, as, yeah. a, as a journey. Mm. And they couldn't have got where they are without all those things. Yes. And maybe they can't get where they need to be next without yeah. some of that fear, so that's some of that failure, some of those disappointments. Because mm. I've seen lots of people, for example, Simon Woodroff of Yo Sushi. Yes, right. He started his business, mm. was about to open, then the premises weren't available. Yeah. So he spent a year, and actually he spent mm. that year making his product all the better. In hindsight, he says it was the best thing that could have happened. Yeah. So for the, the people you're talking about who might want to change, I don't see it as a change. I think it's it, it's almost unavoidable. This yeah. is the thing I had to do. Right. Uh, I haven't, I haven't had to give up a job. Yeah. I haven't faced the fear they man, mm -hmm. which you know I've never had a job mm. except I've had the comedy store plans for 25 years. But I think you've been brave in what's ever. I've been brave. I, yeah, going each time there's been a new experience has yeah. been a bit scary. So doing the character for the first time. I tried it quietly in a small pub theatre called the Old Red Lion in, in the Angel. My first workshop, I, I, I worked hard, I prepared yeah. virtually every ten minutes of what I was going to do and say. Yeah. I learned off by heart the names of all the participants. Yeah. Uh, I talked through what I was going to do with the guy who had employed me. Yeah. Now, I wing it a bit more. Yeah. <laughs> so, preparation. Yeah. Preparation. So, so, you know, that's rational preparation. The emotional, psychological thing, well, it almost feels like you've got no other option. You right. had to do it. Yeah. Uh, if, if you really want to run a, start your own business, you're mad. <laughs> yeah. But it sounds yeah. like you'd be mad not to do it if that's yeah. becoming your dream. And it, it's an all-consuming vision of, yes. I've got to do this. Well, so, uh, in terms of fear, fear's good. It makes, yeah. makes you work hard. That's good. Well, Neil, yeah, that's fantastic. Thank you. Thank I you. Really appreciate that. And um, what would you like people to go? Where can people find out more about everything you do? I know there's so many websites. Where, where there's so start? many. I would go yeah. to www.improvyourbiz.com. Right. Improv is that easiest com. to spell? That's good. The malarkey is difficult. There's succeedy.com yeah. if you like. <laughs> right. My alter ego is that easy to spell? Uh, people might have to guess that, but there will be links from improvyourbiz to everything I do. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. Okay. I was thinking I should get one overriding one, you know, with three letters, but yeah, they're hard to get. Yeah. What should I do? As oh, my life. Yeah, no, I'd be definitely happy with that. I, I agree with their internet strategy. 
We'll talk about that after. Should I get a simple one? Yeah, it's always good to have one big website that has links to everything else, else in there. Yeah. Which is probably your name. Your well, neilmalarkey.com, but that's difficult to spell, isn't it? If they Google me, yeah. In fact, my, my webmaster says, if you spell malarkey wrong, it's okay. You'll find me. Okay, well, that's great. And thanks Thank for you. the show. It was really Pleasure. Really Thank you. Thanks, Thank you.